man. This is uh, this is the system I was going to show you. First of all, this is in the bag. This is a little stand. All you have to do is loosen this up and push it down from the top like that. And you'll end up with the legs like that. Okay, that's that. That's as tall as it needs to be. The next thing we're going to do is pick up this, which is the actual unit, which is in the bag. You'll see there's a hole on the bottom right here. Okay, turn that over like this. Set it on the pole. Easy enough so far. So, um, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just to kind of show you this thing. There we go. So what you have, this is your, um, so this is monitor auxiliary in. You don't have to worry about those. Here's your master volume for everything, okay? So this will turn up the whole system. I put it on maybe 12 o'clock right there. There's master volume, it's on the left side. Down here, you're gonna see gain. All this is channel one here, so we're gonna plug something into this side, and you can either plug it into here or here. Okay, this is channel one over here. It says channel one right there, and this is channel two over here, okay? So we're gonna end up using this input and this input right here, channel one for the uh, CD player, uh, whatever, in, uh, iPod, and the uh, uh, projector. In your computer from this okay these little buttons right here 10 db pads you won't need these make sure they're not pushed in that one's pushed in right now so we'll get rid of that what that does is it makes the whole thing softer in case it's too loud for some reason all right so on this also you have gain here and gain there so the gain is the volume all right this is low mid high they should be okay here low mid high so this is the volume for channel one on the top and you should probably put those on about maybe 11 o'clock. You can mess with it. So um, now you're going to have two things you're going to put in here. Uh, the first thing we're going to have is the uh, projector, which you're going to run out of your computer. So what I would do is just come out of your headphone jack of your computer with this. All right. It looks just like a headphone jack. On the other end, you've got this. All right, see those? They're RCA, like you plug in the back of a, like a, C, a CD player or a DVD player or something like that. And then I've got this little attachment right here that's got these little connectors in it. So I'm going to put these in here like this, and I'll just leave these in here like this. And all you have to do on channel one, this one, you got that one and that one. We're going to plug in there just like that. Just plug your iPod into that, and you should have volume as long as you have the um, master up to 12 and the gain up to something, you know, whatever. You'll hear it right there when you turn that up. So that's it for that side. You can use this for your iPod and for, um, and for your, uh, project, your computer. Because I'd come out of your computer with the, with the sound for the, um, for the thing, for the, uh, for the slideshow. All right, the other thing you're going to do is have a microphone. And I'm not going to turn this on right now because you'll get it. The on switch on this is right here. It just says power on. You plug the... You put your uh, computer cable, just plug that in right there. There's a power cord. Just plug it in right there. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff back there. So just on, off, plug that in, plug it in. There's only one plug to this that plugs into the wall. That's the best part about it. Then on the microphone, you've got a microphone. Okay. You've got the end that looks like that with the three prongs. Stick this in there. And then um, we're going to stick this in here. This is channel two. The little clippy on the top goes on the top, or you can just look at the holes and line them up. Don't mean to talk to you about like a kindergartner, but you know how it is, man. Anyway, I used to teach kindergarten. So, turn the gain up to whatever you need it. You'll talk in it at that point. You should be able to hear it, okay? If you need to turn the volume down just on this microphone, turn the gain down here, gain up here. Uh, you'll see reverb level. You don't need any reverb. The anti-feedback, for some reason, you do not want to put the mic in front of this thing like this. That's what makes them feed back. So just have it off to the side. You know, have it off to one side over here. You can see my head. Where's my head? Anyway, uh, just don't don't stand. Don't put this behind you. Put it off to the side a little bit, and it'll be better. Um, that's it for the audio part. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'd hook this up before the day of the gig. Aloha.